Hi everybody, Brian McNichols back here with your weekly news. I guess this is actually twice a week news this week because if you look back on our YouTube page a couple videos ago, Monday, July 17th, I also posted a video because last weekend was the every other year D23 Disney Fan Club Expo and Disney announced a ton of new stuff. So much stuff that I blew through it on that video on Monday and it still took me 15 minutes to get through it. But we have all the concept art, some descriptions of stuff, some stuff that's closing, great movie ride, and Ellen's Energy Adventure in Disney's Hollywood Studios and Epcot, respectively, both in Walt Disney World, are closing August 13th. So if you are going to be there before then, you might want to take one last ride. And even though I did a new show two days ago, there is still enough news that this is pretty jam-packed as well. We've got stuff for both Disney World and at Disneyland. First, I'm going to start with some Walt Disney World dining news. I mentioned on this show a few weeks ago that Chef Mickey's was going to be temporarily relocated. That is no more. They're doing some sort of maintenance on Chef Mickey's was what we were told, and now they're apparently not. So I guess it wasn't anything crucial, hopefully. Don't worry about that. Anytime you have a Chef Mickey's reservation, it is going to be in the Chef Mickey's restaurant in the concourse in the Contemporary Resort. So that's just off. I guess that's no news. But since I mentioned it before, I wanted to mention it again. Also, Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe in the Magic Kingdom. This is the quick service restaurant in Tomorrowland, right near the Tomorrowland Speedway, uh, Mad Tea Party, that area. It is going to have mobile ordering starting, I think, right now. For mobile ordering, you use your My Disney Experience app and you pick what you want. And then when you get close to the restaurant, you hit the button that says, I'm here. They start preparing your food. You walk up to a special counter and you get it. They've been doing it for some of the Animal Kingdom quick service restaurants. They already do it for the Tomorrowland Terrace restaurant in Magic Kingdom if it's ever open. And now Cosmic Rays, the first really, really high capacity quick service restaurant in Magic Kingdom. Coming soon in the Magic Kingdom, Pinocchio Village House, Columbia Harbor House, and Pecos Bill Tall Tale Inn and Cafe. All going to get mobile ordering within the next month or so. I will tell you when that actually happens. A new resort opened this week, the Copper Creek Villa and Cabins at Wilderness Lodge. This is what used to be the Wilderness Lodge Villas plus the addition of the cabins out on the banks of Bay Lake. They are open right now. Any Disney Vacation Club member or non-Vacation Club member, you can still get in there if there are openings or you can rent points. It looks gorgeous, as you can see in this video that Disney put out. Another thing that was announced over the weekend, minivans. This is Disney's ride-sharing service. They are not minivans. They are actually Chevy Traverse uh, three-row SUVs, but... As you can see, they look like Minnie Mouse, so minivans, you get it. Anyway, these are in testing right now at Disney's Yacht and Beach Club Resorts, as well as the Boardwalk Resort. They will be coming very, very soon all over Disney property. Here is the deal with these. They say you will schedule your ride or call it using your smartphone. Don't know exactly how that's going to work. Don't know if it's going to be through My Disney Experience or a separate app, or if it's going to be a scheduled system or a call on demand like an Uber or a Lyft is. But we do know the price. It is $20, a flat fee, wherever you want to go, which seems like a lot if you're going from, say, the Beach Club to the front of Epcot. But if you're going from Disney's Kidani Village Resort down near Animal Kingdom all the way up to Magic Kingdom, that's not that bad. That's actually close to what you would pay if you used a service like Uber. Presumably, this will be just as magical as the other services Disney offered, so I guess that's where the price comes in. All right, out to Disneyland, where there was also some new stuff. Fantasmic is back. Fantasmic was under a long refurbishment. They redid the mist screens. They added a new section with Pirates of the Caribbean and took away the Peter Pan one. But our own Guy Selga from Touring Plans, our Disneyland expert, was out there, saw the first show, said it is really, really good. It is, expects to be very busy over the next few months as all the Disneyland annual pass holders and regulars get in to see it, but it is worth your time to see. Staying in Disneyland, a new thing just starting today, July 19th. As I am filming this, Disneyland is not even open yet because I am on the East Coast. Max Pass. Now, those of you Disney Worlders that are familiar with Fast Pass Plus kind of know what this is, except you have to pay to use it. 
this is a video that Disney put out on how to use it that I'm going to talk over, but basically it is $10 a day per person. You get to select Fast Passes, much like you would with Fast Pass Plus. You scan your phone under the barcode. The nice thing here is that it is an addition on the Paper Fast Pass system. So you still get to use Paper Fast Passes and get these extra electronic Fast Passes for your $10. And you also get all of your photo pass pictures for that day. You know, that sounds like a lot, but a busy day. Who knows? That starts today. Guy Selga will be there. So if you are watching this today, July 19th, check Touring Plans Twitter and Guy will update you on how this works. And that's going to do it. There is actually some more stuff that I was going to go over, but I'm going to save that for next week in case we don't get this news barrage. And you know what? If we do, maybe I'll do two next week too. Thank you for watching. Be excellent to each other.